Hello, hello, this is Jennifer Sinceri, and I am a Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. Happy Friday! It is March 4th, 2022. Forgot to put my date here. <laughs> How are you? I hope you're doing fabulous. Let's see, I'm going to make sure we are... See the little, I see the little live button. Okay, we're working and I believe I'm in the right place. Awesome, awesome. So I come live every Friday and I, um, I come live on Facebook and then I post these videos in YouTube. And I love, love, love sharing stamping with you. I'm super excited tonight because we're going to play with um, a bundle that is really all about things I love. I love gardening and it's called flowering rain boots. It is a stamp and die bundle. If you are with me, then I would love for you to comment. Please go ahead and like the video and, or put a heart on it that you love it. That helps other people find the video. Um, it helps them see that, um, I'm here and I'm on and if you don't already follow my Facebook page, um, I encourage you to do that because then you will be able to get notifications every time I do go live. Hi, Shelly. How are you, friend? Hi, Christy. Welcome. Uh, so, and also, if you are a first time viewer, I would love for you to let us know and so we can welcome you. First, I'm going to start with a little housekeeping news. March has got a lot of exciting things happening this month in the Stampin' Up! world. We just ended celebration, and now they are giving us a great sale. Um, sorry about the pink paper. <laughs> I didn't realize husband put pink paper in the copy machine. Um, hi, Pamela. Welcome. Happy Friday. So we have a sale. It's called Savings Are in Bloom. And it's a big deal because our mini, stand, uh, mini cut and emboss machine, you'll see it down here, is 20% off right now. It sells normally for $60 and you will get it for $48. So that is a great savings. You're getting the um, beginner demonstrator discount rate, which is awesome. And then... In addition to that, they have brought um, brought us some bundles that they are also reducing 20%. So we've got all squared away. You're going to save $10 on that. Um, art gallery, they brought back as a bundle. And uh, it's going to be $44.75. Beauty of friendship, $46.25. Celebrate sunflowers, they brought this one back as a bundle. Uh, $45.50. Garden Wishes, $45.50. Hydrangea, sorry, Hydrangea Haven, $46.25. Pansy Patch, $45.50. Quiet Meadow, $47. Seascape Bundle, $41.50. Sweet as a Peach, $32.75. Welcoming Window, $44.75. What's cooking? $40.75. And Wildcats for $34.25. All right. So that's the sale that's happening. It's till the end of the month while supplies last. Hi, Carol. <laughs> Shelly says it's the best hour on a Friday night. <laughs> Bless your heart. I don't know if it's the best hour. <laughs> But I know I always look forward to our time together, for sure. Uh, another really cool thing that's happening is we have an uh, early release. Our new annual catalog is coming out May 3rd. So we have two catalogs right now. Ooh, let me grab them. I almost fell over. Yeek! This is our current annual catalog. Okay? And then we have the mini catalog. Well, this guy here is going to retire the end of April. I don't know that they gave us uh, an actual date. Oh no, it says May 2nd. So on the front it says April and on the back it says May 2nd. So I'm not sure exactly. There must be, I'm going to have to look because the new annual catalog 
goes live May 3rd. I was just looking today. So um, this bundle, this stamp set and dies will be in the catalog. You're getting um, an early release. You are able to purchase it before the catalog comes out. The only thing is they, they do have coordinating products that go with it, but these will not carry over to the new annual catalog. They are while supplies last. There's the Waves of the Ocean Designer Series paper, and then a blue foil specialty paper pack, and then these really awesome rhinestones that are in blues and greens. So these three items will not be in the new catalog. They are only while supplies last. So, oh, I, I know. I'm probably going to do a, um, a class on this. I just haven't played with mine yet. So that will come. It will be there. Um, we have a new kit. I didn't print out a flyer for it, but it's all about robots. And we've got a robot stamp set in one of our catalogs as well. So I'm thinking it will coordinate with the kit. So that's always exciting. And then they've got this one. This one's been out for a while. It was our newest release. It's a magnetic um, board kit. So this is like a home decor item. And this is really cool. I am getting this for my daughter's room so she can put fun things on it. And um, so that's new. And then there's one that's even newer and it's robots and it makes cards. So you can find all of our kits on the Stampin' Up! webpage under the kits collection. This is also um, a new... I wouldn't call it a suite. It's a collection. It's called All Together. None of these items will carry over except the blends. The blends will carry over into the new annual catalog, but the stamps, the dies, and the paper will not. So here's a bigger um, picture. So we've got some lovely sign language images here and then dies that go with it. And then this black and white paper is really fun. So this item, this, this item will not carry over, but the blends will. So this is while supplies last. And I think, yeah, you have till May 2nd to get these items. And then last but not least, we have a subscription kit. It's called Paper Pumpkin. And you uh, can subscribe each month. Uh, well, what you do is you sign up for your subscription and then it's ongoing. And if you want to skip a month, then you go into your account and you suspend. Um, no penalties. You can skip any months that you want. It's really not a hassle. Um, but this one is kind of like our anniversary. So every year around this time, they do a little special something in that kit to celebrate their birthday, Paper Pumpkin birthday. Um, which is the name of the subscription kit. So in this kit, you're actually going to get two stamp sets for the price of one. And the gift, the second one, I have been told, has a value of $18. So that's awesome. Um, the kit, oh my goodness, it did go up a dollar. I want to say it's $23.50 before tax. And it comes with ink, stamp set, adhesives, the note cards, the envelopes, your embellishments, ribbon or twine that may go with it. Usually there's stickers or die cuts. So it's an all-inclusive kit. Everything's included for that price. It's a great, a great value. Um, I love Paper Pumpkin. There's Sometimes there's a kit that doesn't float my boat. Um, I usually get them because I love the challenge of trying to come up with alternatives. I actually have my kit from last month. I can show you my cards really quick. It was called the Safari Celebration. And um, I was playing with it last weekend and I made, I've only made six cards with it. And I've got a ton of supplies, but um, I'm making these cards up and I'm probably going to share them with youth group teenagers. So these are my alternative designs. I always like to change them up a bit. But I've skipped a few months here and there, and I've never had issues. Then, then I go back in and I um, reactivate 
my account when I want to. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in. I love it because it's all inclusive and it's such a good value. I mean, one stamp set is can be 20 something dollars. So you're getting everything plus more. It's such a good value. And they make great gifts. That's another thing. Sometimes I'll order a couple extra and I give them as gifts. Okay, are we ready to get started? I am. I'm going to show you a couple new techniques tonight. Well, you may have seen these techniques. We'll see. The first one we're going to do is we're going to do a wash. Now, we're not taking a bath or a shower, but what we're going to do is I'm going to take my ink pad and I'm just giving it a squeeze, a little hug. This is the old, old um, ink pad. And you'll see that I've got some ink there in my well. And I'm going to use our aqua painters. I have the older version. We have newer ones out and they're way better. I haven't broken down and bought the new ones because I have the old ones. So I'm just making do. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting my brush tip in that ink and swirling it around. Okay. And I'm not really squeezing water. It's just, it's already wet. This is a barrel that has just plain water in it. And I am just going to add some color to this white panel. Okay, this is some pool party. Um, I'm just going to give you a warning. I'm, you may hear teenagers in the background. I do have a teenage son and he's got a friend over. So I'm just giving you a disclaimer right now. Sometimes teenager boys get, um, uh, they don't realize that they're loud. That's, I'll say it that way. <laughs> All right, so this is what um, I'm calling just a wash. We're gonna let that dry. I do recommend using watercolor paper. The more that you go back and forth with your brush, the more you're gonna wear down the fibers of your paper. Um, but this is regular paper and I just was condescending of that. I didn't do back and forth a lot. And so my paper held up just fine, okay? So we're gonna let this dry. I've already done one in advance and I trimmed it down. So that's my wash. And I've got all my little parts. Now I'm gonna be showing you some fun tips and techniques using the stamps of this set as we go, okay? There's a couple things that I'm gonna show you. Um, and I tend to get really excited about what I'm doing. So sometimes I forget things. So you're just going to have to bear with me. There's just too much to share with you guys tonight. All right. I've got my, uh, pool party basic card base and I've scored it in the middle. I'm just grabbing my bone folder. Bone folders are an awesome tool that everybody should have because as you can see, it just um, burnished, I burnished this and now it's laying flat. And this is paper from our celebration uh, promo that just ended. So this was free paper. This is the paper that I just showed you from that waves. What's it called? The oceany one I was just sharing. I got to look it up again. Waves of the ocean. Okay. So I hadn't decided which one I wanted to use. I kind of want to go with this one because it looks like raindrops. We'll see. We shall see. All right, so you're going to notice that your paper, once you've done a wash, it will curl and that's okay. You know, you can put it, you can put a weight down on it if you want to. I'm going to adhere this and it's going to be just fine. Just fine. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm using a tape runner. You can use liquid glue. Either one will work just fine. And I'm going to put the part that has more color at the top. Okay. Okay. 
Now I have to decide if I'm going to use some twine on this one. And if, if I do, I can't put this part down yet. So I'm going to play with this and see ooh, if I'm going to add tw Baker's twine. Now, we've got a great punch in the mini catalog. It's a cloud. Okay. And if you got some of that celebration paper, there were clouds that you could punch out with this. Or you can use any piece of designer series paper and punch out clouds with it. Well, mine isn't going to be a cloud tonight. It's going to be a puddle. I know, right? <coughs> Super cute. So I'm going to make, ooh, it flew away. I'm going to make that into a puddle. Hi, Lori. Hi, Sharon. I'm kind of losing my voice. My allergies have been crazy because we've had a lot of wind. So I'm going to decide which paper I want as my puddle. Do I want the speckled one? Or do I want the one that's a little more solid? What do you guys think? You can tell me. Every so often, I like to have you guys vote which one you like better. Okay, so should we go with the solid as my puddle? Or should we go with the speckled? Which one do you like better? Sharon says solid. Not as distracting, probably. And Stacy says solid. Shelly says solid. Okay, we'll go with the solid. Hi, Stacy. I didn't see you hop on. Christy says solid. And Ju I think it's unanimous. Okay, solid it is. So we're going to add our little cloud that's really going to act as a puddle. And then we're going to place our rain boots on top. Aren't those cute little rain boots? Oh my goodness, so cute. So here's the thing. You can stamp this. I stamped this on just white paper. You could also stamp this on designer series paper and then cut it out. So I could take this and I could stamp on this and I'm going to show you what that would look like. This is a little sidestep. Okay. Let's move this aside. So I'm just tap, tap, tap. I'm not gushing it in. Just tap, tap, tap. And I want a part that's mostly yellow. And then just even pressure. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Deanna. All right, so I'm going to hold that up so you can see it. You've got the outline of the boots. And it's just more filled in. So that's an option too. I kind of liked the shadowing on mine, so I didn't use the designer series paper. But if you wanted it solid, that's something to try on designer series paper. Okay. All right, back to my card. My little side, little side step there. All right, we're going to glue these cutie pies down. These little galoshes, yellow, not galoshes, I guess, just rain boots. What are galoshes? <laughs> what makes it a galosh? I would like to know a galosh. That sounds funny. Galoshes, galosh. Okay, so now I have stamped my stems and leaves and cut them out. This is Old Olive. And by the way, this is Daffodil Delight. For those of you that are wanting to know the inks that I've used, as you can see, I was playing earlier and I've got some polished pink that I'm saving for later. <laughs> All right. So the nice thing with these stems is you can just lay it right on top and it looks like it's coming out. Okay. So we're going to do that. Then what I've done is I have stamped the tulips in two different colors. I stamped it in 
Puppy Parade, and then I stamped it in the Daffodil Delight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have tulips of different colors instead of just all one color. So I'm going to take my paper snips and I'm going to cut these into pieces. So don't be afraid to do that. Okay. And then we have a little bit of variety. Okay, so let's see. Let us see. We can put some red there. We can put some yellow there. Or maybe I want more red and less yellow. Let's see. Let's try the yellow in the middle because that's the bigger piece. And then we'll do the red and the red. I think I like that. All right. And then I can save these for another card. I'm not going to throw them away. I'll just keep them in my little stamp case. And when I make another card like this, I'll just use those. Okay. So I'm going to put these guys on now. Any of this, we could pop up with dimensionals. I've been doing it all flat. Um, but you could add dimensionals to this as well. Totally whatever you're in the mood for. And I can't get my fingers worked. This is my U-Pick tool. I use this every time I'm stamping. It's got a putty end for picking up sequins. My putty needs to be replaced and it's kind of gross. And then it's, <laughs> sorry about that. And then it's got this spatula end or this pointy end. I actually use the pointy end the most and it locks. You just twist it and it locks. I use this the most. All righty. So let's get these kiddos on here. I'm going to move it down a little bit because I don't want it to go over my um, designer series paper. Okay. Those are my tulips. Now, I think I am going to do, hi Linda. I think I am going to do some Baker's twine on here. Okay, so I've got, uh, this is just linen thread actually. Now it comes in a spool. You can sh tell how old my uh, linen thread is. I had a bunch of it. All right, I'm trying to get it. There we go. Okay. Let's see. You know, I'm thinking I should have put it behind my boots. Because I don't want to cover up my boots. Let me see if I can sneak that. That's when the spatula would come in handy. Let's see if I can do what I'm thinking. All right, let me. Oh, Logan's getting loud downstairs. He's getting all excited. <laughs> He's got a friend over and they are playing with slot cars. Okay, here we go. Oop. All right, we're going to wrap it. Ooh, it's getting warm up here. I was freezing. Now I'm too hot. I know you guys can relate to that, right? I'm having my own little summer right now. Okay, so I just did a double uh, wrap around. And now I'm going to just do a little bow. 
I love the linen thread because I just, I like that natural feel. I'm going to fix it. Don't worry. I'm not going to leave it looking like this. Don't worry. Okay. And let's put it where we want it. Put these guys back on. Let's re-adhere them. Give it fresh. Ooh, that guy keeps rolling. This way you don't tear your paper. There we go. Oops. All right, now let me fix my twine. This guy keeps wanting to um, twist, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to um, redo it. I think. All right. Okay, now a little smaller. We don't need ginormous little loops. Okay, there, that's better. That's better. All right, I'm going to glue that down. And then I've got a fun little element that we're going to add to this. Okay. Make sure my, yep, want to make sure my card's opening the right direction. <laughs> I really like this yellow with the uh, pool party. Don't you? It's so cheerful. All right. Now I have a little hand trowel, I think this is. I don't know what that's called. What is it called? It's a gardening tool. A thingy bobber. I cut it out with cardstock. We can add that in if we wanted to. And then we've got these really fun embellishments. They're pebbles. And so I'm going to add a couple pebbles on here too. Yes, Peggy, you're right. So we had another type of um, designer series paper that was free during celebration. It was marble, the marbleless paper, and that's been stamped. The boots have been stamped on that, and it looked really neat, too, for some shading. You could also take your blending brush and blend color on paper and then stamp on top of that. That would be fun as well. That's another way you could do it. All right, what I'm doing is just adding tiny little bits of liquid glue to my gardening tool. We're going to add that down. And now we're going to add a couple pebbles.
Oops. Come here. Come here, you. All right, and then maybe we'll do two more over here. I like to do odd numbers. All right, so there's some pebbles. Aren't those cute? All right, now you could stamp your sentiment on here. You could also put um, your sentiment on a, a piece of paper and add that. You could do whatever you wanted. I'm wondering if I want a sentiment, I might leave it and then do my sentiment on the inside. What do you guys think of the first card? So we did a, just a little wash in the back. Isn't it cute? Super cute. And then you learned a little trick with uh, stamping two and then cutting it in pieces to have colored, different colors. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my next one. I'll show all the cards at the end, all right? Okay, the next one has got another little tip that I'm going to, or technique I'm going to show you. So let me grab a piece of scrap paper. And I grabbed some of our Stampin', uh, Stampin' Write pens. So I'm gonna do some Mango Melody. And Stacy would be proud of me. I pulled some hot pinks. This is Magenta Madness. This is why I had ink on my hand. Um, this one's polished pink. We might play around with a couple, a couple um, combinations. Aren't these pretty colors together? And I'm going to stamp my little tulips in Daffodil Delight. Okay. I'm just using a piece of scrap here. Those are really cute pebbles. You know, Deanna, I wasn't going to get this stamp set. I love the stamp set, but it's very similar to a stamp set from one of our kits that we have right now, a uh, rainbow kit. And I have that kit and I thought, oh, I don't really need stamps that are, because it has rain boots in it also. But then the more I thought about it, I can just add to it. Those stamps will complement this set. I know, Stacy. I'm branching out using hot pink. I know. Okay, so I've stamped in Daffodil Delight. Now, have you ever used your pens to add color to your stamps? Have any of you done that before? It's a lot of fun. We're going to take the brush tip and we're going to add some color. Oops. I did the top. I'm starting the darkest color on the bottom. And then we're going to go the next color. I don't know what this is going to look like. I did one and I don't remember what colors I exactly used. So we'll see what this one looks like. And then we're going to go with mango. I love mango. It's a pretty color. It's not quite orange and it's not quite yellow. All right, I might just stop there. Now I'm gonna take this, I gotta stand up so I can see. And I'm gonna stamp over. Now it's, I can do that because this is clear and I can see. And if I make a mistake, eh. It's no big deal, right? That's too dark, too dark. We'll do another one, too dark. I say no magenta madness. Mm -mm. I'm gonna go with polished pink. I think the magenta madness is just too, too mad. <laughs> Uh, oh, I forgot to stamp it in yellow first. Doggone it. All right. Well, this one will be a little different. 
in my sample, but each time it's going to be a little different. So this one will just be all pen. I'm adding a little pale papaya at the very tip since I didn't stamp another one in yellow. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this one shows up. That one I like better um, because it doesn't have that magenta madness in it. All right, so that's fun. You kind of get rainbow tulips. Isn't that pretty? So I cut one out. I'll show you mine. There's mine. All right. And so that's a little fun technique. You can use your pens. We've got a flirty flamingo card base. And this card is going to open this way. Okay. And then we've got some wood plank designer series paper. So it looks like I'm on the side of a barn or something. And then I use my scallop contour dies and we're going to put this to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap my twine around this one too. And I'm going to do it now. Although it might not show up. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I won't do it on this one. I don't think it's going to show up. I'm being indecisive tonight, you guys. I think I need to eat. <laughs> I think I need food. <laughs> All right. We're going to pop this guy. And I'm using my little U-Pick tool to take those backings off so they don't land all over my carpet. Hi, Mary Lou. Welcome. All right. Let's glue this guy down first, then we'll add our popped-up piece. We are playing with rain, flowering rain boots tonight, which is perfect. We had a little bit of rain today. I loved it. It's definitely spring-like weather here. We're going to put this over to the side. Okay, now I stamped my rain boots and cut them out. And we've got our stems. And then we've got our really pretty flowers that are going to go at the top. So let's do that. Different look, different colors, different technique. Let's pop these guys. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So the first one I did flat. This one I'm popping the flowers. I just like to show you different, different ideas. So when you're doing yours, you can decide which you like better. Let me make the mistakes for you. <laughs> All right. Now we sell Stampin' Dimensionals um, in the regular size and in mini. You get more in the mini pack. These are not mini. These are the regular sized. But just letting you know that they come in two different sizes. All right. There's our tulips. And then 
we are going to, let's see, I'm going to add a sentiment on here. Now, because this is popped up and this is flat, when we put this circle down, we're going to use tape runner on this side and we'll use a dimensional on this side so that it's even, okay? But first we'll stamp. So I am going to pull live life in full bloom. Well, let's move some of our stamps. And we'll use some black. I like to use black for my sentiments so that they pop. This is the Tuxedo Black ink. All right. Okay, so remember, runner, dimensional, okay? And then we're going to add some cute little butterflies, our brass, our brushed brass butterflies. Try saying that uh, three times super fast. This is what I'm going to use because it looks like the little adhesive is funky. Okay, there's a cute little one right there. We'll do another one because, you know, we've got to have butterflies in the garden so they'll pollinate our plants, right? Isn't that cute? So cute. I need to get more of these butterflies. All right, that's our second card. I love the colors. I hope you liked the um, fun technique in doing the multicolor for the flowers with your markers. Okay, next card. Tonight is all about techniques. I'm going to use a mask this time. I'm a little nervous, you guys. Gonna, just going to say it. I'm a little nervous. All right, so these masks are in the mini catalog. They're called the butterflies and flowers. They're layering decorative masks, okay? I'm gonna use one, this guy, and I have grabbed a blending brush. If you don't have these, you need blending brushes in your life. They are amazing, super fun. All right, let's see. We're gonna grab some gray granite, all right? And I don't, I'm not going to tape this down. I'm just going to do a little bit. It's going to be in the background. All right. Let me test this out. Yeah, it's just going to be a very light. Now, when I use blending brushes, I start off and then I work in. Okay, so that I don't have a big spot. I want this to be a light, gentle Oops, light, gentle adding of color. We'll see. We'll see what I, if we like it. All right. That might be too much. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to go less and we'll see which one we like best. Just... I'm not going to actually re-ink. Let's just go lighter. Let's see. I want just a very subtle. There, I like that better. So I didn't re-ink it. Okay? And just a little bit in the background. Okay? Let me hold that up for you. You guys see that? 
that's that side much darker but it it looks too choppy i want it just to be a very light subtle okay all right and then you can just run these under water and rinse them off and use a paper towel or a terry cloth towel to clean them up and they'll be fine i think this weekend i'm going to play with some um embossing paste because I'd like to show you guys how to do that with these masks. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, but I'm not ready to do that with you guys tonight. Sorry. Okay. I just realized I don't have a card base. I need to get a card base. Okay, here's our mat. And I'm going to pick... Uh, let's do some misty moonlight for this one. So let me cut it real quick. Ooh, my candy wrapper from earlier. <laughs> I snuck a Milky Way. Okay. This color is retiring. So if you love it, I better grab some more of it. It is retiring. I'm really eager to find out what our new in colors are going to be. Okay, this is Misty Moonlight, and then this is Mossy Meadow. We're going for darker colors on this card. Okay. So let's mount this. Oh, there's a kitty. Do not jump on the table, Teddy. Do not do it. Okay. He's circling me like a shark. I like those masks. That's fun. Okay, I have stamped and cut out my watering can. And we got some seed packets in here that we're going to add. Let's see. We'll have to figure out where we want those. And then I stamped some pots in Misty Moonlight. Um, I stamped them full strength and then I stamped off so I would have lighter ones, okay? I think this needs to go higher. And we'll put some flowers in my watering can. And we'll put, ooh, I need stems. We'll put stems. Now look at that. The stems fit in your pots. So they can fit in the rain boots, but they also fit in the pots, depending on how you arrange your pots. I bet you didn't know that. And then we got our tulips. Now I have those other colored tulips. I could add some red on here if I wanted to. Oops. But I think it's going to be too bright. I think I want to go with all the yellows. This is a more subtle, um, light colored combination. We're going to do a seed packet and a, a seed packet back there and maybe another seed packet back there. And then I'm going to put my sentiment here. Okay. Trust me, it will be cute. Okay, let's start adhering. And we're going to put some of these up with dimensionals. <clears throat> Where, there it is. There it is. Okay.
I can hear my wind chimes blowing outside. It's windy. All right, so what are your plans this weekend? Now that it's the weekend, what are you going to do? I want to make sure. Tomorrow I have a class. So some of my stamping friends are going to come over and play. Sunday, I might be working on report cards. It's that time of the year. I'm almost done with report cards. Okay, so I put my stems in my pots. And then let's scatter some seed packets. I think this one needs to go behind like that, fill up that space. We'll do it like that. How did I do it? I think I did it like that, and then we'll do this one here. <clears throat> and where's my other one? There's my other one. This one. <coughs> Excuse me. I think needs to go under more. Or I could go right there. Let me pull that out a little bit. So I'm just using my little spatula. Here we go. I think I need to add a, a new little dimensional there. There we go. All right, let's add our tulips. What are you guys thinking so far? Do you like that background? The little um, blending in the back? So one is stamped, the tulips are stamped in Daffodil Delight, and these chrysanthemums, or what are these? Daisies? They were stamped in Crushed Curry. It's a little bit darker. All right, now... I'm going to stamp a little sentiment on here that's got ink on it. And we're going to cut that piece 
it's just going to be a little thin strip. This is going to be a, an encouragement card for somebody going through a difficult time. I need to get a cleaner piece. Every storm that comes also ends. I like that. so it's not making it difficult. And I'm not really measuring this. I'm just cutting it to fit the sentiment. All right, and then we're going to do a little pendant end on here. The denim ribbon would be pretty on this card if you wanted to add ribbon. I don't think I have room for ribbon. Okay, so we're just going to put that right there on top. And then we're going to add some more of those butterflies in here. Okay, there's that card. You know, someone who's going through a difficult time may not necessarily want a super cheerful card. So these colors are a little more subdued, um, but it lets them know that I'm thinking of them and that I'm, I'm sending them love. And it's got the yellow, so it's got some cheer in it, but it's not in your face super happy cheerful. Do you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So, you guys like that? I really like this in the back. I should have put a little more down here. Thanks, Sharon. I really appreciate that. Aren't those seed packets fun? They're just so cute. They have a vintage look to them. Okie dokie. Next card is a lot of pieces a lot of little pieces alrighty so this is just another idea of what you can do with all those pieces and a different uh, landscape I should say all right so we're gonna add a white layer to make it pop. I love to put white layers in between. It makes it crisp. Okay. And then I'm sorry, ladies, when I was designing these cars, it was still celebration. <laughs> but I was trying to think, um, the paper that is with our Oh, home and heart. It's very subtle paper. It's got florals. That would be very pretty with this stamp set. Okay, I took our uh, scallop contour dies, and I just went ahead and stamped multiple stems on here and then stamped the tulips on top. Okay, so I created a background if you will. All right. Now we're going to build a scene with our pieces. 
I should have brought a drink up here. Yikes. Okay, I've got my watering can. I've got some pots that we're going to scatter. And then we're going... Oop, no, I was going to do it down here. I was going to put these up a little higher. And we're going to put the flowers down here. But I think I need to move this up more. Let me try one more time. I need to have room. I need to have some room. Or maybe we'll just put some in here. You can do it that way. I'll do it something like that. Okay. We'll do something like that. You know what would be even fun is if you put a little piece of ribbon in the handle and did like a little bow on the handle. That would be cute. I don't have um, the need to do that tonight, though. But I just thought of it. I just saw that little handle and thought, oh, you could do that. That would be cute. But I don't feel like doing it tonight. What color of pink? This is not magenta madness. It is polished pink. I much prefer polished pink. Maybe I'm going to go more down low like this. A little lower. I should have put some tulips up higher. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, let's see. We're going to scatter our pots. We want them to look like... I think that works. I stamped the pots in Cajun craze. I wanted it to look like terracotta, you know? And we used to carry a terracotta color, but it's retired now. So I pulled out Cajun craze and I thought that would work. Now, um, you guys are saying too many flowers. Well, Goodness gracious. All right. Well, I guess I won't add my other flowers. But I need something here. See, I don't like that right there. I'm wondering if I could add some flowers coming out of the pot like that. Let's see if I can make that work. Like that. What do you guys think? We're going to add a little tool. And we'll add some butterflies. And I think we can stamp something here too. This says, rain or shine, I'm here for you. Okay, no boo-boos allowed. <laughs> All right, let's glue our little rake. 
It's not really a rake. This is like, what is this? A trowel? Bonus points for the person who knows the correct term for this gardening tool. <laughs> so, you know, what I did was I just stamped a bunch of the images and then I just sat and cut them out. And then I started creating my cards with the images. Um, so it, everyone has their own designing um, way of handling, you know, how you do it. Okay. Now, where are my, there are my butterflies. This is an unkept space. So, yeah, there are some, a lot of flowers, and I kind of planned it that way. I wanted it to look like it was just out in a wild garden, you know? Not necessarily a well-manicured garden. It was out in the middle of a meadow somewhere. Okay, there's that card. I think it actually is very cute. And I like how it has some flat in the background and then some popped up. Okay. All right, last card I'm gonna make with you. What I ended up doing was I took the seed packet and I just stamped a bunch of seed packets to create a background, all right? And I know a lot of them get covered up, I know. I just wanted you to see them here and there, little touches. They're not the focal point. They're just in the background, okay? So you can take a flower, you can take the seed packet, and you can create background paper, your own little designer series paper, if you will, which is another fun technique that you can try. And this is Mossy Meadow um, cardstock. And then I actually think I used Pear Pizzazz, a little bit lighter, okay? Thank you, Sharon. I know everyone has their own tastes of what they like to do on their cards. I'm just trying to show you possibilities. Okay, loving these uh, scalp contour dies. These are a must have, they're basics. You can use um, them in all most of my cards, I use these. Now, what I did was I stamped my um, rain boots, cut them out, and I placed them where I was going to have them. And they're kind of going, going to the side a little bit because I'm actually not going to center this. It's going to go like that. And I held them down and then stamped my stems because I wanted my stems to be in the right place. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And actually, I'm going to pop these up. And then we're going to pop the flowers up. The greenery will be flat. I have to be in the mood to use dies. I'm much more of a punch girl. I love the punches um, for quick, easy cards. But when you're not in a hurry and you're in the mood, the dies just really make such a statement in your card making.
All right, and my little tulips are done in polished pink. Oop. If I can get my backings off. There we go. And they keep sticking to my fingernails. All right, and then we're going to glue this down. little bit askew is the word I think and I have another little tool that we can add and I think this one's gonna have some pebbles in it Where's my hold that down? Okay, and then pebbles. Where'd you go? Now there are brown pebbles and then there are the gray pebbles. I'm going to use the gray because we've got gray happening around here. Okay, and gotta have a butterfly. Now we could put a sentiment on here. Kind of in the middle, but I think that's gonna be too big. You could do something on the side like this and then I don't know if I want to do a sentiment, <clears throat> but it could work. You could put something on here if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave mine, I think, and wait until I know what occasion I'm going to use it for. I do that a lot. I will leave it um, ready to add sentiments for the occasion I need it. I do think the pebbles really work well with this set. Mm hmm I do. Well, let me see. Um... So remember the beginning of our video, I said that there's a kit that the stamps really um, coordinate with. And it was oh, Rain or Shine, I think is what it's called. I can't remember. But it used to be a paper pumpkin kit. And now it's in the kits collection. Uh, these are the stamps that go with that. So you've got clouds. You've got raindrops. Some flowers, some hearts. There's flowers, two different boots, more flowers. So this set comes in that kit, but I also feel like you could add these to this set also and make it work. I mean, the raindrops would be fun to add to this. Definitely would put sentiments on my inside. Yes, for sure. Okay, so let's pull out the cards. And uh, I don't think, I only did one bow tonight, you guys. I know. Um, I feel like there was a lot happening with all the dyes. Okay, can you guys see those? Let me push that up a little bit. Let me make sure that's in the view. I think you guys can see it. I hope you like these. So we did a wash, we stamped with um, 
sorry, we colored with markers on our stamp. We um, used a stencil and then we created our own background with a stamp. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me tonight, everyone. I appreciate it. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you for liking or loving the video. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. I might add a sentiment up here. Oh no, I have it right there. I covered it up. Yep, very cute. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me and I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you next Friday. All right. So take care, everyone. Bye-bye.